Welcome. This video will walk through the steps on how to repair your M222 or M332 series cast iron wet seal pump. The tools required for repair are shown here. Before beginning, drain the antifreeze from the reservoir as well as all other fluids from the pump. Store the fluids in an approved container or disposal unit. First, remove the six bolts from the pump body. Then, set the body aside. Next, remove the three volute bolts. Set the volute aside. Remove the impeller bolt. Remove the impeller and the key from the keyway. Next, remove the four rear bracket bolts. Remove the rear bracket. Remove the spring and the shaft. Remove the reservoir. Next, remove the seals from the shaft. This may require additional lubrication. Once the seals are removed, replace the shaft. Remove the seals from the reservoir and the rear bracket. Clean the new seals thoroughly and lubricate with P80 lubricant. Place the seals into the reservoir and rear bracket. Next, remove the old reservoir seals and replace with new seals. Replace the reservoir. Next, make sure the rear bracket bolts are clean and free from damage. Remove and replace the O-ring on each bolt. Replace the clean and lubricated spring and seals onto the shaft. And replace the rear bracket and rear bracket bolts. Apply Loctite to the rear bracket bolts. Place the key into the keyway. Replace the impeller. Apply Loctite to the impeller bolt. Tighten the impeller bolt only until the O-ring is flat. Replace the volute and tighten the three volute bolts completely so the lock washers lay flat. Ensure that the rear bracket O-ring is clean and free from damage. Replace the pump body and tighten the six pump body bolts evenly. Tighten until the lock washers are flat. Finally, refill the reservoir with antifreeze, making sure to fill above the spring. Your pump is now ready to be put back into service. For more information, please visit banjocorp.com. Thank you for watching.